All right, guys. Um, just got Operation Red Veil through in the post. One of the, as being a war corps, the Corvus Belly have sent it out to me early so I can get it all built up and demo it and build up the hype for the box, which is cool. Um, so here it is, is the front of the box. Thought I'd do a little unboxing, show you the contents and all that sort of stuff. It's got the little a special yarn yarn in there. It's nice. Uh, straight away, the artwork on the front of the box is awesome. I love the the, the way it's all going now. The ninja looks amazing. The Shen looks great. It's Alpha Alpha Seed. Looks awesome as well. Just loving it. Um, then on the back, you've got shows you obviously. Don't know, bring it close to the camera. Shows you the terrain and everything set up and lists the contents and everything. Again, just like um, Ice Storm was, and um, the USR and the pack and everything really do an awesome job with the uh, the way they're packaging things now. Then on the sides there, it just gives you a little look at the forces. So that's the Hackers Land Force on one side, and then you've got the Yujing Force on the other. So really, really cool looking there. Um, I'll get the box open and have a look inside. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a book. It's just like the I think just like the the ice storm book. Um, we've got a red veil book, which I'll, I'm sure will have the all the rules, sort of introductory missions and stuff to help you learn the game. Again, it's following that same format, like English on one side, Spanish on the other. So, you get your token sheet inside there again. So. Single side tokens, silhouettes, and your measuring, little measuring tape and everything, everything you need to play the box. And then you've got the booklet itself. So, well, let's move that out of the way. So, the booklet. So, again, a little bit of, I think, fluff for each miniature. Some lovely artwork again background information and then starting going into like how to play the game with each other step-by-step -step missions and your terrain setup and everything so lovely uh, going on. oh it's even got one thing I really like now in this one it's got assembly tips because infinity models can be quite of a jump if you're used to other you know certain other like systems and things some of the infinity models are quite fiddly so it's cool it tells you how to work the metal models and then it's got little painting guides there for the um, for the Gulam and the Zanshi. So that's quite nice. Nice simple little paint schemes. And again, it's got sort of like advice on how you can expand your force, each of the forces, and then a little bit of fluff for all the other factions. So a really nice little intro book to the whole Infinity range. And moving on to the contents of the box. What we got. So they've gone away from the cardboard boxes they used to do, the same sort of box you get all the miniatures in. They've now gone with a plastic tray. And now you can see we've got our nice uh, camera, our dice. So we've got the orange Eugene dice with let's take a mic. So nice little Eugene symbol there. And then the Hackers Land dice, you get three of them. You know, the little hack symbol there, which is quite nice. All your bases, standard stuff. Big one for your Alpha Seed. Fa Seed? Did really get that name right, shouldn't I? Da -da -da -da. Alpha Seed, yeah. Kind of like, cool. Big guy. Of course, belly stamp in the plastic. It's getting a lot more, more and more and more professional and smooth. So, who have we got here? This is the Yan Ho. So, bring him up for the camera. Lovely little model in there. Um, ah, backpack. So, there's Alpha Seed, the big boy. Right. Again, lovely miniature. 
tons of metal in that pack. Uh, backpacks for what look like That looks like for the Yujing stuff. You got some backpacks in there. And the Ninja. The Ninja's pretty much what sold me on buying this box alone, just because it's such a nice model. Um, really, really impressed with that Ninja. I'm even tempted to do a conversion and make a nice Shinobu out of it or something. It's just such a nice model. Here we have that. Ah, that's one of our Zanshi. I think long haired, long haired male. Big, big, big improvement over the old ones. Like, so that's the new one. And I've got, let me see. Um, there we go. So, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd focus. So, Old Zanchi. Runner bean kind of pose. Comparing him to the style of the new one, I mean, there's barely a comparison. The, the, way, the, the, the way the models are improving is just coming on leaps and bounds. Absolutely lovely. And. Got a female counterpart there. Hopefully that's focusing all right. Um, yeah, so this box is just all the Zanchi, it looks like, and there's the other one. So the, the other female who sort of stood in a more relaxed pose. Again, lovely. Can't wait to get these painted up. Oh, let's get this up. Check it out. Next, we've got the. <clears throat> the Celestial, not the Celestial Guard, the Tiger Soldier. Tiger Soldier with the Assault Hacking Device. Tiger, uh, Tiger Soldiers, in my opinion, are one of the best AD troops in the game already. And it's nice to get a specialist model for it. So, beautiful, beautiful pose, beautiful design. Should be seeing a lot more as I go back to Vanilla Yujing. A lot more time on the table. And then we've got <coughs> what's this? This is the Zhu Yong. Again, Zhu Yong blister or packet. Again, um, loving the way he looks. He's got that like sort of almost like an assault vest kind of thing I think going on the chest and um, I'm loving the way it's poses he's got his, he's got his um, hand up as if he's signaling to troops behind him and everything gorgeous oh, okay. and that's the tiger and then we've got the Hsien so, he's same with the multi, or he's same with the HMD he's a lovely model, the MSV2 he's got uh, it means you know camo, to camo doesn't work against him very well. ODD, and you can do some lovely tricks like shooting through smoke and all that kind of thing. So that's going to be a great model. I can't wait to add him in. So he might have to fight for his spot with uh, the hack town, but we'll see. Okay, then we start getting into the. Uh, this is the hacker's land. So. Uh, we have a Gulam, and I believe this is the one. So we got one of a Gulam imagery, and apparently, if I can get the focus. Apparently, he's modelled after um, ah the name fell out of my head. What's he called? The guy who played Bane in Batman. I should be able to figure that out. Tom Hardy. That's it. Apparently, he's meant to look like Tom Hardy. Um, but we'll see. Um, you know, of course, but I do like doing that thing where they like can model uh, certain models after famous celebrities. Like, no, notably, look at the look at the new Achilles now. I mean, it's a spitting image of Brad Pitt. It's quite funny. Um, another Hacker's Lamb, or sorry, another Gulam infantry there. Again, lovely sculpts. Um, yeah, I now the 
the old Gulam and the old story, I like them a lot as well. They seem to have done away with uh, the one that looked like uh, Snake. I don't know if you've ever seen him. This guy with an eye patch and a knife in his hand. He looked very similar to our guy from Metal Gear Solid. They, these sculpts are lovely as well. They're keeping up with the keeping up with the um, progress of everything else it's doing. And then what have we got? Oh, we've got the female. The female one. Oh, let's get rid of the complaint code. So yeah. The female one is sort of striding across and looking over her shoulder. Really nice. And <laughs> I think I'm going to be it's going to be a hard fight not to start a Hakazam faction after getting this box because the models are just gorgeous. And then, what have we got here? We've got another of the Hack model. And I'm going to have to double check his name because he is new to me. Ah, this, yes, he's the new one, the Zayadan. One with holding the, uh, the, two, the pistol in the SMG, I believe. He's got an amazing looking coat and sort of mask on. Really looks like some sort of like bounty hunter kind of figure. You know, John Woo S walks in a room and just takes everything apart. Absolutely lovely model. And then we've got the lovely Tuareg sniper. He's stood. Stood with the wind blowing, obviously picture up on a rooftop or whatever, take it, sighting down that rifle and just popping people's heads. Again, really nice model. TO trooper as well, so you can do the whole sneaky hidden deployment thing. So not like just mark on the table where she is and then pop her out later on for a sneaky arrow. And also in cover, she's gonna be ridiculous to hit with that TO cam one cover bonus. And then we have the I'll drop that and the last one is the Kawar. I'm probably butchering this pronunciation, but the Kawars. Kawars. So he's a super jumping trooper, and again, he's got the um, he's got the turban on his head and a nice the big coat and scarf kind of look, looking like you know he belong, he's perfectly at home in like a sandstorm somewhere, protected from the elements and all that. Again, lovely model. Um, and that's it, I've went through the model now. So moving on from the models, we'll have a look, we'll check the terrain out. And again, these terrain packs, especially me being a Eugene player, this terrain pack's just blown me away a bit. I can't wait for them to bring out a like solo pack. Um, this will probably be um, the first card set that I get like a full 4x4s worth because I just absolutely love the style and how everything goes. And so yeah, so you can see sort of the completed table there and sort of artwork piece to show you how it all goes and they've even got the instructions on the back there to show you how to put all the fiddly bits together and moving into this oh and what's this ah they've even included a nice wow really nice big um looks like a nice big poster oh of course so one side of the gaming mat is the, obviously the gaming mat, and then the other side you get a really nice big um, red veil poster. So if you don't want to use the game mat, you've got a nice poster to put on your wall, and if you do, then you got it. And the game, I mean, I love, I love the, the detail in this gaming mat. It's incredible. I think it's meant to be some sort of shopping center, Asian shopping or using shopping center. All that. It's nice because it's not just, you know, Infinity's not just about kicking the heck out of each other in some more torn ruins battlefield. It's all about covert black op missions and stuff. Like, you know, sneaking in, assassinating a, assassinating a politician, that sort of thing. Or grabbing some vital intel that some other um, rival faction's taken on. So you get this lovely sort of variety of um, scenery in the play, which is cool to see. Nice little garden, there's all the lights. So, some that. And then we've got, the, so this is a bridge. Let's show that. It all folds up, I believe. You know, folds up over itself to form a nice little bridge. 
which is a nice little addition because be able to link those boxes up, make some more interesting ter uh, terrain setups. And this is one of the little advert cubes. So I mean, I'm loving it. I've seen some of this artwork on the forums done by other people. Some of it's coarse bellies, but it's just beautiful artwork and really, really adds to the, the flavour of the table. I think so. A nice little ladder to get up and down there as well. Nice. <laughs> Now, if you see something suspicious, report it to the Imperial Service, you know, a good old Yu Jing in their, their caring ways, you know. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we've got another one which is a duplicate of the, the first one I showed, so same artwork. Thumbs off, these all pull off just to make the, you pull them all off and make the shape. Neon Lotus Station Services. So, this looks like some sort of either like waste unit or recycling unit or something again it's one of the cube boxes so it's good for scatter good for putting on top of buildings to add height and all that so there's two of those and low pans noodle hut <laughs> lovely so yeah nice little noodle hut there with the shutters closed check that little low pan there eating his noodles again ladder on the side to get up and down Lovely, lovely detail. Now with these um, these little boxes, one thing with the cartoon you got to watch is it does move around a lot on the table if you're not careful. So you'll probably want to put some weights into that one. I know these larger buildings, you can put the boxes in like you did the did the, the um, previous ones, and they're slightly taller. So you can add a sheet of a layer of foam in to the top just to cap it off so everything rests nice and snugly. So what have we got here? Shopping area. Cloud Nine shopping area, so again, beautiful artwork all the way in the sides. Texture work and everything's fantastic. Um, we got a ladder on the side there, more detail, and then yeah, just more sort of advertisement for the station, I think. And I call, which is like um, I think it's a makeup kind of brand or style in Infinity. And then you can see the roof there. So again, just nice, nice little detail pattern work and everything. And then, yep. Yeah, so second one is the same as the first there. So again, just duplicate of that one I just showed you. And we got another one. So NL Capsule Hotel. Okay. So let's fold this where it should be. So you've got for the entrance to the hotel there. NL. Capsule Hotel. On the other side, I'm guessing those are the capsules, so nice uh, efficient bedding there. A little Restria poster. So Restria is like a, sort of like a blood sport, I think. Like a teamed sort of gladiatorial matches. You know what I mean? And what have we got there? Another just another door with a ladder again to get it onto the roof. More pods and uh, another advertisement for a, a TV show. Watch it on Onyx. Onyx TV in the future. There's a Myrmidon Wars. It's a good old Aleph getting stuck in each other. And then you've got the roof detail again. So nice little garden there on the side. Some decking. Hatch to get up. And some uh, Chinese writing I think there. Which I, have, I don't read Chinese so I have no idea what it says. Correct me if I'm wrong. Could be Japanese. Could be the, the Kenpai Te. Getting out there and spraying propaganda around. Kenpai Te being the... Um, they're the terrorist Japanese faction that are trying to fight back against their oppression by the Chinese apparently. So yeah, this one, duplicate again of the last one I showed you, so another capsule hotel. Again, really nice, really nice, really nice texture work and everything on there. Um, can't wait to put them together. Might do a little video uh, later on once I set it all up and show you what it looks like. But um, yeah, overall, if they've, they've hit the ball out of the park again with this. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful set, and um, a really good price as well. I think, I think ninety euros. So what's that about? Um, about seventy quid, is it? And you're getting two starter factions with limited edition models and terrain. So yeah, really, really nice. Again, can't wait to get stuck into all of this. Um, that's just a quick one. So let's the expanded Eugene army. So it looks like they're wanting me to add in. Uh, what have we got? Oh, the new. So that's interesting. They're showing you that's the new 
uh, spec specialist that isn't actually out yet. Uh, let's get closer. Here you go. That guy with a little. Um, now that's actually a mad trap on a shoulder, which is an adhesive sort of mine on legs, like a crazy coil explodes. That one basically to the floor, but he's not out yet. So interesting. They've had, they're suggesting to add him in. So I guess he's coming out soon. And what else? A tag. Good old tags. You know, quick way to boost up to 300 points if you're going off that tag level. Guiz is a beautiful model as well. I mean, I've got mine over here. So yeah, that's mine. Nice little. I like purple, so I want a purple on my guy. But yeah, definitely. A model. If you like Eugene, you want to get a Grisha. It's amazing. And then the last thing they've added is a War Core, which is um, a nice little cheap. He's only three points. He's a regular, but he's a nice little arrow unit because it's uh, he's got a flash pulse, so he can always blind people. Or is it stunned now? But he's it's always a nice extra little arrow to have against anything moving across the table. And like I say, three points is nothing. And then for Hack Islam, what have they added in here? Hackerslam, they've added same thing. There's a new a new Hackerslam spec ops there. Uh, at last, she's not in it yet. Um, well, she's not released yet, so they must be releasing her soon to have her in this book. And then the Maga Guard, which is just I don't know if you've seen the actual model in person. It's an absolute beast. Like that's an S S8 model. That template I think is about 60 mil. Maybe wrong. Um, or maybe 60, 70 mil wide. It's just a huge, huge, huge model. And the, the weight of it when you pick the box up is incredible. So yeah, that's what they're sort of suggesting to add to make up to a 300 point list for this box set. And again, the fluff and everything. So yeah, um, overall, really impressive box. Uh, again, in, even better than Ice Storm was. Really, really loving the terrain, loving the models in it. Can't wait to get them all built and sprayed. And um, yeah guys definitely if you're thinking of starting using or hack Islam or you've got friends you're interested in affinity bring a box to try and uh, try and uh, get your teeth into it so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you again later